Hi everyone, it's another beautiful day. Actually, not really, it's pretty gloomy today and really, really windy. But today's video, I'm going to be assembling the Pakiak, so stay with me. So if you're watching this video, I'm assuming you probably want to get a Pakayak. And I've got many, many other videos already. So if you want to look at the playlist, you can have a look at my trips and my first time with the Pakayak. But today we're going to be assembling this six piece modular Pakayak. So the first thing is it weighs 27 kilos and I'm sure you already know that. And in terms of the height, it is 113 centimeters and the width is around 60 centimeters. So it's not that big and fits in your car, but the weight is a little heavy, but as long as you can carry it, it'll be fine. By the way, I also have the spray skirt. So if you want to see the spray skirt on the Pakayak, stay till the end. Okay, so it's pretty easy to open up and as you can see while opening it up, you have the seat, you have the spray skirt that I've put in here, and you can already see it's all stacked up on top of each other. And in here is the Pakayak towel. Hey! And now this towel comes with every single Pakayak. It's a nice big beach towel. So what you use this for is to really put it on the ground and you can stack your, you can start building your Pakayak so that you don't scratch the, the edges. Okay, let me get this going. You know what? Normally I'll be using the towel, but because I'm on concrete, it's not going to get messy and I'm going to be very, very careful with it. It's just that the wind is blowing this towel everywhere, so I'm not going to be able to use this properly. So let's proceed without this. Okay, so I have the spray skirt here. For me, I got it because I plan to do some edging and some rolling. Well, I'm going to learn to do some rolls. So this is crucial to have so your cockpit doesn't fill up with water. So this is the first piece. I'm going to move this up out here. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to be facing you. So it makes it a lot easier to see. And then you've got the second piece here. So before I move on to the next bit, I'm just going to show you the clamps and how it works. As you can see, the instructions are here. It's actually quite easy to follow. And if you watch enough assembly videos, you'll be able to do it quite easily. But I'll just go through it in a bit more detail so you can also see it in this video too. So you've got the clamps. You can see it's actually pretty easy. The additional bit when you release it is that you have this little extra piece here. So when you release, you have to push it down before you can unlock it. Now, this is a safety feature so that when you're on the water, it's not going to unclamp itself unless you press this. Okay, let me move the seat aside. And then you have piece number three. Okay, so piece number three goes up in here like this. And you'll see it fits perfectly. And the clamps are actually inside the kayak. So you have to go through in here to clamp it. So I'm going to show you the clamping internally. So I'll just grab this one. And all you need to do is latch it onto this piece and press it down. There we go, as easy as that. And when you want to release it, you have to press this, as I mentioned earlier, push this down and then release. Okay, so you've got this again and clamp it up. So you do it for all four sides, one, two. So you saw there, the clamping is actually really, really easy. You don't need to put extra force on it. It just really clamps itself on. And you've got this one. Let's put this on. Okay. I'll do exactly the same thing over here. Okay, I had to move to another spot because it just got so windy and you've got at least some of the trees here to block the wind. And the wind was so strong, it was toppling my my uh, kayak down so hopefully now it will be better okay so let's continue with this okay put this on here and i mentioned earlier there's only three clamps on the top piece over here which is exactly the same as this piece over here so you've got there we go got the three sometimes you have to be a little cautious with the clamps because if you can't see it you're touching your way through and then sometimes the edges can cut your skin as well. So you just got to be a little careful and a bit more delicate over there. Okay, now what you got to do, just hold on to over here, the cockpit, put it down, 
just put it down gently and then you've got the other piece here just put it down gently like this now what you're going to do is put the two halves together now if you're on uneven surfaces it's going to be a little tricky to put these two together but if you're on a flat surface like this it's pretty easy but let me show you the other way when you're most likely going to encounter areas that are not flat like this okay so the trick is you have to get this balanced out so quite straight and you use the seat actually to put it underneath so that it kind of lifts the bottom up like that over here and then it becomes easier to latch the latches here now we're going to do the two pieces together so basically what you're going to try and do is put this through the two holes on the two sides so that it's aligned now the first thing is you have to do the middle okay so the middle is the first one that you want to latch together okay so now you'll see there's some movement you just need to play around with it a little bit until you get that perfect sweet spot where you can just latch it in like this so what I generally tend to do is I do the middle one first and then I move on to the sides here and here and then the last two is these two okay now that I've shown you the clamping of these two there's also this piece which I didn't mention earlier but I'll mention it now what it does is that it wraps around the clamps so that your legs does not scrape against it I'm not sure if you know exactly what I mean but let me show you what it does you can see there's clamps here and when you're sitting down you don't want to be scratching yourself against all these edges right so Pakiak was very very smart in providing one of these I shown you earlier how to connect the two pieces together but now I'm going to show it with this included okay so what you do is you have put it you put this strap around the piece so that it doesn't move around okay so you just got as per normal so now this is secure so it won't go anywhere so now you have three points of contact so you have one strap here one strap here and another one up here so the second one goes up through here and then latch onto that and then the third one here done and then you finish it off with the other two so you can see it's pretty pretty good what it does is it provides a bit of a cushioning for your legs so that you don't scratch yourself on any of these edges now that it's all clamped up together you don't need the seat here anymore so I'm just going to move this and I'm going to attach the seat in here okay I actually find the seat pretty comfortable for me my bottom doesn't really hurt even after a few hours of kayaking but some people have suggested or mentioned that it does hurt their ass a little bit so it's really up to you if you want to put any more cushioning as well okay so I'm going to put this in here and you can see there's actually grooves here and here which makes it really easy for you to just put your seat in okay so you've got your seat here and then you've got little clips that you just clip like that which is very very simple and that's pretty much it now you can make the seat go forward or backwards just by pulling on these right as you can see it's moving forward if you want the cushion to be a bit more further back then all you need to do is release this strap a little bit and clip it back on and you can see put the seat more back here as well so it really depends how far you want to sit forward and how far you want to sit back for me I generally push it in so that the seat doesn't move around after adjusting the seat you can just adjust your backrest as well so as you can see here there's also straps here to adjust it from going forward and back so it really depends on how far you want to sit forward or how far you want to sit back I saw in the Facebook group that some people have some trouble putting this on and sealing it tight but it's actually quite simple all you need to do is just put it on press it in the middle and then just press the edges so that it's sealed just like that very simple so before you get into the kayak you want to make sure your foot pegs are set properly you can see there's a lot of space and I believe from the Pakayak website this can fit 
up to six foot four, six foot five, I believe. So it's quite tall, like 190 centimeters in height. So you've got enough leg space there. And when I'm in there, I can stretch my legs all the way without any problems. Okay, so let me show you the foot pegs. Here's the latch to release, as you can see here. And then I will adjust the pegs to where I want it. And all you need to do is lock it like that. So you do it for both sides, for the left as well as the right. So now if you've got the optional extra of the spray skirt, I'll just quickly show you what it looks like. I'll demonstrate it without me in it first and then I'll do it again with me in it, okay? So this is the spray skirt that you need to order from Pakayak. I think there are other companies that make these spray skirts that fit this cockpit but it's really up to you which one you want to buy. But I bought it from Pakayak because I'll know that it will fit. You've got two pockets here which is really really convenient if you need to put anything there. Honestly, I haven't really put anything there because it's going to get wet. So unless you have like little waterproof bags or things that you don't mind getting wet, this is perfect for you as well. You have the front handle there so in case you flip you can just pull it up quite easily. Now to put on the spray skirt, actually you have to start from the back. Easiest is to put this here from the back and then you just move it along the edges this handle here at the front is very very important just in case you do fall or you know flip into the water and you're upside down this is a quick release and then you can just come out of the kayak so now I'll show you the spray skirt with me in it okay so what I do is it's like put it on your pants <laughs> and very easy, there's a clip and I believe there's a few different sizes as well. Okay, so just get the size that's better for you. And once I'm in, let me just go in. Okay, now that I'm in, I mean, it does take a bit of time to put this on. And all you need to do is just take your time and do it. It's going to release sometimes and a lot of the times I do it two, three times before I can actually get it on, get it in there properly. Okay, so here, here we go. There we go, that's the spray skirt. And if you want to access things in the cockpit, there's this zipper here where there's two zippers and you can just open it up to get some fresh air in there. Or if you have a bottle of water, it's just very, very simple to just grab and then zip it back up. The spray skirt also comes with shoulder straps. So you can just attach it to these two pieces here and just put it around there. So it's additional security if you really want it. For me, I've been fine just using my waist. So now what I'm going to do is pack it up and it's exactly the same way, but in reverse. I really hope you enjoyed my video today. I have many other videos with the Pakiak, so go through my playlist and take a look. Catch you next time. See ya.